Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff. Today we are going to do the three plus year review on the Revent Optics lenses that I put in my Spy and Oakley sunglasses uh, on a video for you guys a few years back. So we're going to talk about how they've held up, what I think about them, whether or not they are really worth buying. Uh, we're going to get into kind of the nitty gritty of what I think about them and, and everything. So stick around and let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So for starters here, these are the Oakley glasses that I had. And uh, if you look around here, I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera, but there's a pretty large spot right here that is just uh, kind of hazy and a little hard to see through. Uh, then you got just scratches all over the place. Um, and then if I switch over to the spy sunglasses here, they're really in generally pretty good shape. Um, they have small scratches here which don't impede your vision at all. Uh, you can really only see them when looking from the outside. If you're looking through them, you can't tell at all. Uh, but they're just starting to get to the point where, you know, they're going to be unusable here in a very short period of time. So, uh, one thing we should talk about is with these glasses here specifically, uh, the way that they fit on my hat, uh, all the time. And I guess I'm the, the dork for continuing to do the same thing. But I put them on top of my hat on the above the bill and with these if I look down too fast they literally like fly off of my hat and slam directly on the lenses on the ground um, but what I really want to point out is this is a three plus year review three three years in a couple months um, but I wanted to point out the fact that these two lenses have made it that far and I have extremely been irresponsible as far as how I treat these glasses and these lenses. Uh, you know, this is just that constant, that same thing over and over, hitting the same spot. Uh, and they've held up for this long to the point where now I'm going to be swapping in some new lenses, give these glasses one more uh, life cycle here, which I'm pretty excited about. But yeah, these these things have lasted an incredible amount of time considering the abuse that they have taken uh, and for the price point that you can get these lenses at honestly it's a hundred percent worth it and even after I wear out these next lenses I might get another set of lenses to replace them instead of paying you know big dollars to get brand new glasses though I've had these glasses for probably between five and ten years between the two uh, I've had it for a long time, so the frames are getting pretty dinged up and banged up, but I, I use them for everything. I wear them all the time. Uh, I really like the glasses. Um, but as far as these lenses go, the fit and finish has been great. The, the issues that they have now are because of me and my abuse. And But the fitment has been really great. Um, a few times I've had some really hard hits or had them in a pocket or a bag, and one of the lenses will get forced out and I've never had any issues with them breaking or anything like that. And they are just able to pop them right back in. Uh, and like I said, there's just, there's, I really have no complaints as to at the price point that they are, that it's an incredible savings versus buying brand new glasses and they've held up. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and put new lenses in here. And then, uh, I'd like to thank Revan optics for sending out some lenses for this video for me to do the replacement and talk about my three year review. Uh, and then I also asked that they would send a soft case and then their really nice uh, Revent Keeper sunglass case, which is just a little hard case that actually has some cool features. But here you can see you got room to put your glasses and even a spare set of lenses up front here. So that way if you wanted to have, you know, maybe something more serious for uh, business, but then maybe some fun colors for play. I don't know, whatever you want. And then you got a little room up here for a cleaning cloth or whatever else you want. So let's go ahead and we'll reset the camera here and then we will 
go ahead and replace the lenses on these two sets of glasses. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the Oakley gas cans. So let's go ahead and open up and see what we get in the box here. Fit to perform, like really nice little packaging. So you got the 100% satisfaction guarantee for one year uh, product warranty against defects. That's pretty cool. And it tells you how to clean them to avoid messing them up. So avoid alcohol-based cleaners and chlorine. Rinse after salt water exposure. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop these lenses out real quick. If you just push from the back, push forward, they'll just pop right out. Okay. There you go. I don't know if you can kind of see that little wear mark. Like I said, that's that's where it took the brunt of hitting the ground. Uh, this other lens is still pretty good. You can see through it just fine, but especially when I'm out and about driving and stuff, this eventually became a problem. So I'm glad they lasted as long as they did. So we're going to go ahead and flip up the corners. And I decided to mix things up here a little bit and go with a uh, fun color for my new glasses. So these right here are specifically their Elite Polarized Emerald Green color, which I thought would be kind of a fun, fun little swap. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get to the front here and then just push them into place. Then they just kind of snap into place. Of course, I get my fingerprints all over everything. I'm gonna do the same thing with our other lens. It's also a good time to go ahead and clean your lenses really good if you have not cleaned them up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the glasses off. Okay, so here they are. Nice green look. A little hard to see them in here with the lights in front and behind, but it's a very nice color. That's gonna be pretty cool. So I look forward to wearing those guys out and about. So let's go ahead and cut over to changing the lenses on our spy optics, specifically the Logan model. So same thing, nice little case. We got our little bag. Go ahead and get that preset. And then with these ones, same thing, you're just gonna push. Lens will pop right out. And for this color, I decided to go with their Elite Polarized Ice Blue, which should be pretty cool. Okay, let me go ahead and clean those up. Okay, now here's the Elite Blue. See there, got a pretty nice look. So then whatever glasses I'm not gonna be wearing from now on, I can store them in this nice case, which will protect them. Throw this in the center console of my vehicle or on the shelf or something, but it'll also uh, keep any children from inadvertently destroying them. And then for whichever ones I am gonna be wearing, when I'm not using them, I can put them in this nice soft case. And now I'm be ready to go, be protected on the go. So my one of my plans is also for these is to get a uh, nice little neck strap type deal so that uh, I can hang them from my neck. That way I'm not launching them all over the place. Um, but let me go ahead and reset and I'm gonna try these on so you guys can kind of see what they look like. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more before we close out the video. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take the spies out of the soft case here. And throw them on there. You can kind of see the blue a little bit better, but I like that. It's kind of cool, a little more fun than uh, the straight black that I had before. And then for our Oakleys, we've got that cool emerald green color. And I like that. Seeing these color lenses kind of makes me want to go fishing. I just feel like these are good fishing glasses. Kind of the look that you should have when you're out fishing, having fun, having a good time. Um, I'll share a funny story about me uh, being terrible about maintaining my glasses. So, uh, like I said, I always put these glasses on top of my hat and when I bend over too fast or if I look down, um, they'll just rock it off my face. And I've gotten pretty good about just with my reflexes, just reaching out and catching them without having to think about it because I've done it so many times. Uh, well, one time my wife and I went and got a couple's massage and when we were coming out of the room, uh, the two ladies were out there who gave the massages and they were waiting with cups of uh, water for us. And I, like a dork at that time, you know, looked down and of course immediately what do my glasses do? They eject off of my hat. And so I went to reach up to grab my glasses to try and keep them from hitting the ground and inadvertently hit the bot or a glass of water and it just sprayed water everywhere. And fortunately the lady was really gracious and didn't give me a hard time, but it was rather embarrassing and I felt super bad. Uh, so uh, that's a good reason to not put your glasses up there on your hat, at least when you're indoors or close to other people, when your uh, natural reactions will kick in and you'll accidentally make a kind of a fool of yourself. So uh, I will, I fully intend to take far better care of these lenses than the last one. Uh, just get, like I said, a little strap or something so I can hang it around my neck or uh, using the soft case, to stick them in my pocket or the hard case, I could stick them in the car or something like that. So um, really my final thoughts on these lenses are, I totally think they're a good value. They're high quality lenses. They're just as good as factory, if not better. Uh, they, they lasted me a very long time and I've been nothing but pleased with them. Uh, I always really feel the pain when I forget to bring these glasses out with me when I'm traveling for work or doing something like that and I'm out and about, it just kills me. Uh, one time I even bought a $20 Walmart set of glasses and they're just terrible. So uh, if you wanna keep good glasses, you wanna get them looking fresh or like new, I definitely would recommend taking a look at the Revan Optics. And then like I said, you can also get the hard cases and soft cases on their website. So nothing but pleased with them. Uh, I'll put a link to their website down below if you guys wanna go check them out directly. But uh, yeah, if, you're, if you have any reservations of whether these glasses lenses are worth buying, uh, I would just put it to bed. I mean, they. I'm fully happy. They didn't pay me to say any of this stuff. This is this is my honest opinion. I I you know, wouldn't change it. You know, I wouldn't have gone with a different company or anything like that. Like I'm super happy with them, and the folks have always been really nice. So I've enjoyed working with them. But anyways, yeah, that that's it. It's they're they're good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below, uh, or any other comments or anything like that. That'd be awesome. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. And uh, go check out Revan Optics and uh, tell me what you think. All right. Thanks for watching and have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one.